It is often said that one is none and two is one. So why would we only carry one kind of antenna with us? Well, Justin K4QCD solved that problem for us last year when it came out with the dually antenna. This has a nine to one transformer and a 49 to one transformer. And I gave this a fantastic review. This antenna is awesome. It's a kit, you build it yourself. Only problem is there's no built-in wire winder. So you're left with all this. Well, my friends, Justin has been working on a new design and he sent me a prototype a couple months ago and it looks like this. Nice wire winder in there, 49 to one, nine to one, counterpoise, and it is available for purchase right now. And I'm gonna tell you all about it this time on Ham Radio Tube. So like I said in the intro, this is a kit that you purchase, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Comes with everything you need except for the wire. You do need to supply your own wire. This is Soda Beam's 26 gauge wire. And I've been really enjoying this. I've been communicating with Justin on uh, my process as uh, we're making this. If you saw my last video on the Gen 1 dually antenna, I showed how to build it. I will have a separate build video on this that I'll post as well. Uh, it's pretty much exactly the same build. The only difference is the look of it. We now have this incorporated wire winder. Now, in the prototype, Justin didn't have any holes in here, and I decided to drill some holes in here with uh, just, to, just to give some strain relief to the wire, kind of stealing the idea from Pactana there. Justin has now incorporated this into the production versions, and he's got holes here and here. Now, the reason I did that, I want one, I want strain relief, but also on the previous model, we uh, used ring terminals. I didn't want to do that anymore. I wanted to use one wire for everything. And I'm going to show you what I did this. I made this the ultimate ham radio antenna. So I put fork connectors on here. And because I have the strain relief, or the, this has the strain relief now, I can simply take the fork off without taking this wing nut off because 100% guarantee if you have to take this wing nut off to take a ring terminal off, you're going to lose this. Ask me how I know. So now we have uh, just put a fork connector on it. I can turn it around and just loosen the nine to one side. And now this is a nine to one. I'll show you how I do that in a second. One thing I would like to see Justin do, and I'm about to go to the hardware store after I finish this video, give us one more wing nut, okay? So we can have one wing nut on the counterpoise and a wing nut on each of the radiating element sides there. That way we never have to take off a, a uh, wing nut because right now I still have to take this off when I turn this into a nine to one and add a 17 foot counterpoise, I still have to take a wing nut off. But very, very easy. You wind your wire up on the antenna and it is absolutely fantastic. So now we have a nine to one and a 49 to one in one antenna with a wire winder. Everything is nice and compact, it's awesome. So I decided I wanna make this the ultimate ham radio antenna. So what I did with this is something that I have done in the past, but I haven't done it to this extent. Let me show you how versatile I made this antenna. Now I wanna just make a quick comment. I could easily record myself making contacts with this antenna, and it would be no different than any other 49 to one or nine to one. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to show you how versatile you can make this antenna if you put the time into it. An NFED half wave is gonna perform like an NFED half wave, and a nine to one is gonna perform like a nine to one. They both perform great. The point of this antenna is you get two birds stoned at once. So right now we're set up in the 49 to one configuration. And if we follow the antenna, we start here with a link for 12 meters. And then we go down and there's a link for 17 meters. And then we go down more and there's a link for 20 meters, which I also get 10 meters off of. But wait, there's more. We got two links right there. What is that for? The one on your left, if we unlink that, that's 41 feet. So I switch the wire over for the nine to one and the link on the right is cut for 30 meters. So I unlink that and I have 30 meters. And then we go all the way up here into the tree where it gets lost. And at the end is the 40 meter element. So I get literally every single band, 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10, because I made this a LinkedIn fed half wave for all of those bands. 
And this is what it looks like with all of the links connected. Here's just a snapshot from 40 through 10 with my Rig Expert Stick Pro so you can see all the dips on all the different bands. But if we zoom in and take a look at 40, we're like under 1.5 to 1 across the entire band. Here's a look at 20. Again, this is all linked. 1.3 to 1 or less across the whole band. 15 meters were a little bit uh, towards the higher side, but 1.4 to 1 or less goes down to 1.08 to 1 at the top of the band. And then 10 meters, we are pretty much 1.5 or less across the whole band towards the lower portion where kind of most of us hang out for single sideband and stuff, the 28578, 1.08 to 1. Then we unlink it at 30 meters and at the bottom we're 1.19 to 1 and probably maybe 1.2 to 1, 1.25 to 1 at the top of the band. If I unlink the 20 meter element, now we have an even better SWR in 20 meters, 1.04 to 1 to maybe 1.15 to 1 across the whole band. Absolutely fantastic. And then here's 10 meters off of that 20 meter element, 1.12 to 1 at 28.119. I mean we're 1.2 and a half to 1 across the whole band all the way up into the FM portion. Then we can unlink it for 17 meters. We're basically 1.37 to 1 across the entire band. It's just flat. And then the Bluetooth decided to not work anymore on my Rig Expert Stick Pro, so I had to take a picture. But 12 meters, if I unlink 12 meters, we're pretty much 1.62 to 1 across the whole band. I mean, I have every band with this antenna in multiple configurations. So that's pretty darn good results for a linked and fed half wave that's got all the bands. But what if you're in a situation where you don't have 66 feet to get an antenna up, but you still want all the bands? That's why I cut it at 41 feet and changing it over to a nine to one couldn't be easier. Let's check this out. All we have to do is disconnect the coax from the 49 to one side. You can see there's another BNC right behind it. Then we plug it into the nine to one side we unscrew the radiating element from the 49 to 1 side, bring it over to the 9 to 1 side, tighten that down. And with the magic power of editing, I now have a third wing nut, which will be included in the kit. So we tighten that down on our counterpoise wire. It looks just like that. And I can do a couple things with this. I can either drop my mast and unlink it where I made a link at 41 feet, which is before the 30 meter element, and then put my mask back up in the tree. So now, same wire, same mass, same setup, same everything, but we've unlinked it at 41 feet to have a nine to one that will tune with a good tuner everything with my 7300, darn near everything. Or we can just take everything off north of the 41 foot element, take it off, and use this as our 41 foot nine to one. So we have less space that we're taking up just like this. So now instead of going from that tree all the way the heck over to that tree, we're now going from this tree just there to that tree. You can kind of see the tip there. Yep, takes up way less space. And you can do that with all of the elements. If you only want to run a 2010, take everything north of the 20 meter element off. You can run it as a 20 meter vertical and get 10 meters. If you only want to run 17, you can take all the elements off before or after 17 and get 17 or 12 or any band you want, 30 meters, whatever you want, so configurable. And that's not unique to this antenna, to the dually. That's just how I made this and it's freaking awesome and I love it. Diversity, you gotta have diversity in your antennas and the dually does it. So let's check out what this does with a nine to one and how well it tunes just with the internal tuner of my 7300. So check this out, 41 feet of wire, 17 foot of counterpoise, 80 meters. Who knows if this is gonna work, doesn't work. I found if I just put my hand on the radio and hit tune, sometimes it works better. It does better in the higher portion of 80. Look at that, 1.6 to one it just tuned up. Let's go up to the higher portion of 80 here. I don't even have to do the old hand trick. Look at that, 1.1, 1 1.2 to one. On 80 meters with a 41 foot wire, are you kidding me? Here's a look at 40 meters, no problem. Like zero SWR there. 10 meters. Ooh. 10 meters not so happy on. That's a little high SWR for this radio to tune, but if you had an actual tuner that was made to tune a, a nine to one, that should work just fine. Let's try 20, there we are, perfect. Let's go lower in the band. Fantastic. 
There's 17 meters. No problem. 15. Done and done. 12 meters. I don't think it likes 12, so I would need a better tuner. Yeah, a little high for this radio, but still, like four to one maybe, five to one, something like that. And let's see what it does on 10 meters. Tunes it up, no problem. Zero SWR, 1.0 to one. Let's go up into the FM portion just for giggles. Yeah, tune that, no problem too. A nine to one tuned with a 7300. Now obviously the tuner in the 7300 is not designed to really tune a nine to one, but we just got most of the bands on a 41 foot piece of wire. If you have an external tuner that's actually designed to tune higher impedances, this thing's gonna kick ass. And the best thing about this new design, when you're done playing radio for the day, you get to wind all of your wire right on the antenna. And then at the 20 meter link, I just start winding on the other side, just like that. And there's even room for your counterpoise too. Take a little Velcro strap, wrap it around, and you are done. And there we have it. That is the new Dually 2.0 49 to 1 and 9 to 1 antenna by Justin K4 QCD. Available now. Links in the description. My name is Mike. Thanks for watching Ham Radio Tube. We'll see you next time. 73.